Hi guys, it's Valerie here. Welcome back to Valerie's Home and Gardens. Now I am reaping um, some kabacha squash. I planted them pretty early, but I think I made a little mistake by planting too many vines in this area so they didn't do as well as I anticipated by the way I waited until the very end because I was trying to get these small ones to get at least a little bigger and some of them did but we got to the point where it was time for frost and I covered the patch a couple nights but then after I had so much to do and I figured, you know what, it's too much. It's too laborious to keep covering this here, covering that there. And so I said, okay, forget about it. When the frost burns all the vines, I'll just go ahead and cut the squash off the vines. And so that is exactly what I have done here. So I am growing in the garden as I go. Last year, I got a couple squash the year before i got lots of squash but i didn't think um curing and everything through they did pretty well so i figure if i do that this time then they'll do even better so the first thing you guys should know is when you are reaping your squash make sure you have the stem on the squash because anything that's attached to a stem will definitely last longer so let's look at what we've got here guys actually i got so many squash that i have this basket here a basket oh my basket do you believe my basket here is about 25 years old yeah my mom took it from jamaica for me as a gift when she came here in 1997 and so i'm still using it these are the type of baskets that we use when we go to the like we call it farmer's market here we just say market in jamaica but anyways the farmer's market these are the baskets that we use and we put our food in them and usually we leave the fruits on top. Anyway, that's just a side note. Um, yeah, the basket is so full that I had to go get the wheelbarrow. So I am going to be packing them in the wheelbarrow. So here goes lots of squash. As I said, these ones are on the smaller side, but I reap them anyways because I am going to be using them. I'm not tossing anything out. <sighs> So there's some dirt on this, but another thing you guys need to know is when you're curing your squash, you should not put water on them. So I won't wash these. I'll just go ahead and use something to clean them as best as possible before I put them to cure. Check this out. <laughs> There are a couple of these tiny ones I left on the vines to see if maybe they'll grow any bigger. Maybe about um, th four to six of them. Now check this out guys. Some animal has been eating away at this one. This one's the same thing. This one's a pretty big one. And already something has started eating into it. So it's a good time to get them out of the garden. That's it, guys. Check this out. I think that's a pretty good haul. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the destination where they will be put to cure. So at first, I was thinking I would put um, the squash on the deck here to cure i figure oh it would be a nice look because it's fall and all but guess what i don't know when it's gonna rain and when you put your squash to cure 
you don't want them to get wet and therefore I'm not going to take the chance and put them on the deck here I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put them in another location where they will be covered and if it rains they won't get wet this is it guys this is where they are going now I have some lovely shelves on the south wall and so all these babies will be going inside so even if it rains they won't get wet let's go ahead and take them inside It's heavy.